Okay, so there you go. So that's the first step, okay? As you move across the periodic table, you increase the number of valence electrons and you never double up. You have to go all the way around first before you double up, okay? All right, this says each side of the element top can hold up to two electrons. What other sides can hold up to two electrons besides the top? What other sides can hold two? The bottom. What else? The right side. And what else? And the left. Left side. Okay. Can all hold the top, the top, oops, the top, the bottom, the right side, and the left side can all hold up to two electrons. So you end up having something that looks like this. Okay. All right, let's check the picture that I have below. Let's see if the picture's right for number three. Okay. We kind of already covered rule number three, but let's cover it again. Remember, you have to go all the way around before you start to double up. So is number one correct? Yeah, that one's right. I got a single dot. Can't really worry about that. Is number two correct? No. No. Grab your white. Grab a white. Erase one of those dots. Where would be a correct spot to put the second dot? On the side. On the side. I can add it there. Could I also add it there? Yeah. Could I also add it here? Sure. As long as it is not doubled up. Okay, that's number two. Let's look at number three. Is three done correctly? No. no, three is not done correctly. Let's grab your white marker, erase one of the dots. Where should I put that dot that I erased? Where would be the correct place? Bottom. Bottom. It can go there or it could go here. As long as they are not doubled up. You got to go all the way around first. Is picture number four correct? No. no. Where should I put that other dot? Right. On that side. Yep, you're right. And then is picture five correct? Okay. Yep, that one's good. Is picture six correct? Yep, that one's good. Is picture seven correct? Yes. Yep, and is picture eight correct? Yes. yes. Now, let's talk about something that I didn't talk about last period, which I probably should have. How many holes or gaps or missing dots does this one have? This set, number seven. It has one hole or one dot or one gap right here. I could put another electron right there, right? Okay, good. So guess how many, oops, guess how many things can bond to elements in this group? One. Okay, here, looking at this one. How many holes, gaps, or missing partners or bonding sites does this guy have? Two. Two. I'm missing one right here, and I'm missing one right here. So how many things can this these elements bond to? Two. Two. I was starting to get it. How many holes, oops, how many holes, gaps, or bonding sites does this group have? Three. There's a missing one right here, a missing one right here, a missing one right here. How many things can this bond to? Good. Here's the thing that will blow your mind. How many holes or gaps or bonding sites does this one have? Four. Four. Anything that is made, usually this is carbon, right? Carbon is in this category. Carbon is the most predominant atom in the entire universe. Why? How many things can it bond to? Four. It can bond to a lot of things, so it's the most predominantly used element in the world. Okay. Oh, this one's tricky. How many holes or gaps or bonding sites for number three? Oh, that's what I thought you guys say. Think again. In order to be a partner, it has to have one black dot and one gap. Three. Only three places. So this has three bonding sites nothing down here okay how many holes gaps or bonding sites does this guy have 
two. Okay, we're getting it. And how many holes gaps or bonding states does this guy have? One. one. Hydrogen can only make one bond. This guy can only make two bonds. This guy can make three. Okay. All right. Now, here's our next important rule. It says generally each atom requires eight electrons in its valence, oh, valence shell, meaning that once it bonds with something, it will share electrons to have a total of eight electrons around one atom. Uh, except hydrogen, oops, hydrogen requires only two electrons. Everyone else loves eight valence electrons, but hydrogen is happy with two. Hydrogen is that person that when you have eight cookies in front of you, you're going to eat eight cookies. Hydrogen stops at two. Hydrogen's happy at two cookies. I want eight cookies. Okay. Now we're going to say this out loud and really, really like synchronize together like a beautiful yelling choir. Are you ready? Eight is great. Eight is great. Ready? Say it. One, two, three, loud. Eight is great. Oh, the volume over here is kind of lacking. I need to hear something. Come on, Rachel, Brian, ready? One, two, three. Eight is great. Oh, Vinay gets a bonus point. One, two, three. Eight is great. Still, again, I know you guys know how to talk. I've heard you. Okay, eight is great. So when we do this, we are going to bond things together to make eight electrons, okay? except hydrogen, hydrogen's happy with only two. So take a look, this is pretty important here. I have some information here. These guys on the bottom, these guys on the bottom, this guy and this guy, those are all pictures of what is called Lewis dot structures. That is what we are going to make. This is what we will be starting with. We're starting with these, okay? Once we get really good at these, then we can move on to these guys, the hydrogen and the oxygen and the nitrogen. These guys are called bond line formulas or structures, one of the two. And then we'll move on to these guys, okay? So let's take a look at this. Here we go, zoom in tight to this guy. Hydrogen, find hydrogen on the periodic table and tell me how many dots does hydrogen need? How many valence electrons does hydrogen have? How many? One. So this hydrogen is gonna get one. We're gonna call this guy the pink hydrogen, okay? Do this now, make sure you're using colors, okay? Brian, you're using colors? Yep, okay. Now, the other hydrogen, I'm gonna pick a different color. How many dots or valence electrons does this hydrogen have? One. Now in the middle here, they are sharing these two electrons. Because how, how many cookies can hydrogen have? Two cookies, and then they're full of two cookies. Everybody else wants eight cookies. Hydrogen only needs two to be happy. So look what happens. The pink comes from this hydrogen and the blue comes from this hydrogen and they fit together like a puzzle piece to make a bond. And they are sharing those two electrons in the middle. Elements will share electrons to make one another happy. How many, does, how many cookies does hydrogen need to be happy? Two. two. How many electrons are around this hydrogen now? two. Even though it only had the one pink, it's now sharing the blue. How many are around this hydrogen now? Two. So notice that this is in the middle between the two. This hydrogen only had one. The pink hydrogen only had one. The blue hydrogen only had one. But when they bond together, they're making two so they both get two and now they're happy. Okay. Questions on this? Does this make sense? 
You see how they're sharing those two in the middle? That's what it may, means a covalent bond there, okay? Oxygen, now there's a big, huge typo in this one. So we're gonna have to fix this one. There's a big, huge typo. So let's look, how many valence electrons are there in oxygen? Six, okay, so let's look at this oxygen. So here's this oxygen. Let's count six, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, I need another one. Where do I wanna put it? Bottom, top, right, left, I don't care. I can put it right there, okay? Not a problem, six. This hydrogen also only had five. Let's count them. Blue oxygen, I said hydrogen. Blue oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll add the other one out there, six. Just a big typo on that one, okay? Now, oxygen wants how many cookies to be happy? Eight is great. Everyone wants eight. Are there eight electrons around this oxygen? Count them, count them with me, ready? Here we go. Out loud, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm waiting for my cursor to move. Eight, okay? Eight electrons around this. Even though oxygen only has six, it's using two blue ones so it can eat eight, okay? How many around this guy? The blue oxygen, eight. It's sharing these two in the middle, okay? Now look what happened over here. How many dots is this guy sharing? Hydrogen sharing. How many dots is hydrogen sharing? Two dots makes nine. One, check this out. See, there's kind of a dot there and there's a dot here, right? Sharing two dots makes one line. Over here, four dots that they're sharing. You see how there's four dots in the middle? Four dots here makes how many lines? Two. Hold on. If it says it above. It will show you in a second. It's just, it's like if there's like a three five second delay on my computer. Okay. Here, this guy. How many valence electrons on nitrogen? Look up. Look it up. Not three. Five. Nitrogen has five, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I put those ones all as pink. Let's do the blue nitrogen, blue nitrogen. One, two, three, four, five. Because nitrogen wants how many dots to be happy? Eight is great. Everybody wants eight. So it's gonna share some electrons so it can have eight. How many, how many did nitrogen have to begin with? How many pink dots did nitrogen have to begin with? Five. How many more did it need to get to eight? Guess how many it's sharing? Three. Because now once it shares those three, how many will it have around it? Eight. So this nitrogen now has eight. This, or this nitrogen also has how many around it as well? Eight. They are sharing these ones in the middle. Six dots makes how many lines? Three, which makes it a triple bond. So elements will share electrons. They will share electrons like these. They're sharing electrons here, like this, to bond, to make them happy. They will even share 
electrons till they get eight and they form a double bond and they will share electrons till they get eight and form a triple bond. So as long as everybody gets eight, they're happy. Okay. Questions on this? All right, we didn't get as far as the other class, so remind me, we will start right here on Monday where you guys will actually make your first structure, okay? If you, if you took out all the little pieces from your bag, check the floor. If I find dots on the floor, and every dot I find, I'm taking away test points. I'm okay. not kidding. One test point for every dot I find on the floor. Ten ten test points. One dot for every dot I find on the floor. So by the end of this, if I find 10 dots on the floor, that's 10 points. Oh, I thought you had 10 points each time. No, okay. you guys all would be out of points. Okay. So folks from home, you have the weekend. If you have not prepared your um, little dots and your confetti, if you haven't gotten the stuff together, if you haven't gotten the stuff together yet, those things, I put this in perfect, you put it in there. Um, uh, spotlights. Uh, it doesn't allow me to spotlight. If you, if you haven't done this yet, okay? If you haven't done this yet, you have the weekend to get this stuff together because we are starting Monday with this lab where you will actually take pictures of this and send it to me and return this in in the grade book. Okay, I need to see pictures with the supplies I sent home or the supplies that you um, will do in class. So folks from home, you gotta have your supplies. If you haven't received your supplies, you can come in and get some or I can try to send another one home um, but don't lose your supplies and we'll have these supplies at school. Okay. Other than that, your assignments due tonight, right? Assignment